Welcome! We're excited to get you up and running on SparkLayer. This tutorial is going to guide you through the setup process so you can start taking B2B orders on your Shopify store. Let's dive right in. Once you've installed the SparkLayer Shopify app, you'll need to sign into the SparkLayer dashboard. The first thing you'll see is our onboarding screen, which walks you through all the key steps. As you go through the onboarding process, you'll simply tick each one off, and then you're ready to launch. First off, you'll see a green tick next to the first step that indicates that your Shopify store has been successfully connected to SparkLayer. Next, we're going to check our data feeds and set up our first B2B price list. When SparkLayer connects to your Shopify store, it will automatically start receiving product and customer data, which then allows you to configure your B2B rules. You should see this successfully synchronized, but if you don't, you can click through and see any specific errors that need addressing. Before we mark as complete, we're going to upload some B2B price lists. By default, SparkLayer will automatically create a base price list. This is a price list that all B2B customers will be assigned by default. If your pricing is very simple and you only require one price list, you can simply use this as your main B2B price list. In our example here, we've actually created three more additional price lists and we've given each a name starting with tier. You can name your price lists however you like, and there's also no limit on how many you set up. Now we've created our B2B price lists, next we'll need to upload our prices. On the right, click the Upload Prices button where you'll then be asked to select a file to upload. SparkLayer uses a file type called CSV to import pricing data, and you can easily set up these using our example templates. In our example here, you'll see four columns, one for the product SKU or product code, one for price, one for tax type, either net or gross, and one for the quantity the price applies to. You can see here that we have set a price for a quantity of one unit of $14.99 and a price of $10.99 for five units. If a customer buys five or more of this product, they will receive the lower price. Once you've created your CSV file, you'll then need to export it and upload it into SparkLayer. We'll now select the file and run the import. Once the file has been imported, you'll see a notification confirming that the price list data has now been saved and you can now close the window. We'll now go back to the onboarding screen and mark this step as complete. Next up, customer groups. Customer groups are where you set the rules for your B2B customers. For example, you may want some customers to use a specific price list and have limited payment methods. For other customers, you may want to set a minimum order total they need to spend before placing an order. Now we'll go to the Customers section to set up our rules. As with price lists, SparkLayer automatically creates a base customer group, which all B2B customers will use by default, and they'll automatically be assigned the base price list you've also set up. In our example here, we've actually created additional customer groups, again by using the naming convention of tier. For example, for the tier one group, we've set a minimum order of 100 pounds, we've set the payment methods they can use, and finally the price list that they'll use. You can easily modify this for any customer group and set the rules you require. Now let's go back to the onboarding screen. As part of this step, we'll now need to configure our rules within Shopify. SparkLayer uses the standard Shopify tagging system as a way to match customers between the two systems and apply their B2B ordering rules. If we go back to the Customers tab, you'll see a column called Shopify Tag. All you need to do to set up your B2B customers is simply add this tag to your customer record within Shopify. Let's do an example with the Tier 3 customer. Within Shopify, we'll find the customer and then under Tags, we'll simply enter in their B2B tags. It's important to note that the tag B2B must always be added to a B2B customer record. Once that's added, you can then add any additional tags. In this example, the customer is a Tier 3 customer, so we'll add that and click Save. We can now go back to our onboarding screen and mark this step as complete. The next step is the front-end widget installation. The front-end widgets enable the B2B ordering experience for your customers, allowing them to add products to an order, view their prices, and manage their account all through your Shopify store. Before you start, it's important to note that this does require small code changes on your Shopify store, and we recommend ensuring you have someone with the expertise to do this. We'll click the SparkLayer Code Snippets link to get started. There are four scripts that need adding. The core script, which enables special JavaScript that loads SparkLayer. 
the product page scripts, which display B2B pricing and the ability to add products to an order, the CSS scripts, which allow you to customize the look and feel, and finally, the checkout scripts, which needs to be added to the Shopify checkout process. Because each Shopify store is set up slightly differently, we'll just provide a quick overview of how this should be done. Within Shopify, click Themes. And then we'll click Edit Code on the theme we want to update. If you're wanting to test Spark Layer first, you could also duplicate the theme and make the changes there before setting it live. In our example here, we've added the core script to the main theme.liquid file along with some CSS customization. And we've then added the special product page code to the collection listing pages and product details pages. If at any point you require assistance with this process, our team is more than happy to help. Now that you've added the front end widgets, we're now going to mark this step as completed. It's worth noting that SparkLayer does also enable advanced configurations such as pack sizing and changes to the look and feel, and we recommend reviewing our help guide to see if there are any features you'd like to turn on. The final step is to now check that SparkLayer all works. This is the last part of the process, and this step makes sure everything is set up correctly. To recap the process so far, we've added our price lists, we've set up our customer groups, we've added the special front end widgets. We're now going to log in to the Shopify website as a B2B customer to complete the process. If we go to the Shopify storefront and visit a page, we'll see the standard product page view with the Shopify list prices. We're now going to log in with our example customer B2B account. Once we log in, SparkLayer recognizes the customer as a B2B customer and then enables the SparkLayer front end. Here we can see the customer My Account area, and if we now visit a product page, we can see all the B2B pricing. In our example here, we've also set up pack size rules, which can also be enabled through SparkLayer. We can now start building an order and go through the checkout process to complete it. All we need to do now to finalize the process is tick the steps in the onboarding screen and we're good to go. We hope you found our tutorial helpful and good luck with your new B2B store. Please feel free to contact our team if you require assistance at any point and we'll be happy to help.